again everyone this video is going to be my 2015 room tour I'm going to take you around and show you all the wonderful little things that are in my bedroom um, I have my softbox on and it's super bright because it's really dark and kind of stormy out right now it doesn't look dark but it, it's stormy I promise ah outside but yeah I'm gonna take you around the room and show you all my stuff Except for the desk, I already did my workspace tour for 2015. If you would like to watch that, you can click on the desk. Ah. Alright, so now that that's done, <laughs> um, I'm going to start on this side of the room like I usually do and show you my chest of drawers, which is uninteresting. Um, my closet, which is also uninteresting. It's actually kind of open this year, so you can see in it, it's really messy and gross. But I have a cool galaxy scarf how cool that is <sighs> all right so we got the chest of drawers I'm not going to show you what's inside because clothes are boring um, but on top I've got a journey print that my friend Brittany got me for my birthday a couple years ago this basket has my lush stuff in it and it's it's got some lush stuff in it it's quite full because I have a problem um, my princess bear my humidifier a lamp dolls makeup 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 lipstick calendar brush. Enderman. <laughs> yeah, this, so this is all that's over there. It's just like makeup and a calendar and lush stuff, so nothing too interesting. And this is the back part of my desk that you guys never see in my room. workspace tour. The back of my marker shelves have pictures on them. Boop. Okay, so now I move over to behind my door. Um, my raincoat is hanging behind my door. I also have, ah, this thing is going to be in the way, um, a Disneyland Paris print, my Rise of the Guardians print, which doesn't have a place to hang. Um, on the back of the door, there are also bags, <laughs> um, purses and stuff, so, you know. Um, so this still does have art supplies in it, but I decided to not include it in my workspace tour because that just makes the tour is super super long so I'm gonna kinda go through some of the drawers but most of them just have random stuff in it so I'm not gonna really bother showing you guys that okay so on the side of this in my painting backpack is still here um, I have a little bag that I got from the 60th at Disneyland there's some canvases that I got at Michael's during their sale back there and up here there's just like extra pencils and pens and there's some Tombow markers and some Le Pen markers my extra Palomino black wings are now over here. My animation pegs are over here as well. Lint roller, old sketchbooks are back here. Oh god. <laughs> well, that's old. In here is just more of the same, just like office stuff like pens and stuff. Up top, there's my Mickey ears and there's more pens. There's a sonic screwdriver, some Sharpies. Um, my clean color zig brush pens are here. And there's just like stationary stuff like this is a A5 planner binder and this thing has like old animation from our short film in it and it's mostly like animation stuff from production classes in there and there's a chalkboard all right so this little set of drawers this top one has just more art supplies in it like my Crayola colored pencils that I take when I travel are in here this just has like backup black pens and there's with some spray paint and sealant Oh god. This one, oof, that drawer smells when you open it. Ugh, it smells like sealant. There's some sketchbooks in here, a hole punch, there's toned sketchbook paper in here, and just more Gina K paper. I'm not going to pull everything out because it's too hard to get back in, but it's paper. You know, not too interesting. Ah, it's still just as bad as it was last year. Um, this is my Copic Marker refill drawer. Still have not found a way to store these well nor have I looked for a way to store these well I just kind of deal with it I don't get into my refills too often so I don't really worry about it I don't have a big problem finding it I have a can of air for the airbrush that I got on clearance at Michael's it was like three bucks so I'm like yeah heck yeah I'll buy that and yeah so it's just all refills in that drawer all right so down we go I'm just gonna do one side and then I'm gonna go back up and do the other side my uh, laundry basket usually sits here, but I had to move it so I could actually film down here. And this cable, the brown one, is for my um, softbox, so 
If you see that cable trailing around the room, that's what it's from. <laughs> okay, so this little shelf has um, sticker paper in little cases and some batteries. Um, this is some scrapbook paper and there's just a pencil case and this box I think is empty. Yeah, it doesn't have anything in it. I could put something in there. <laughs> um, this is my um, YouTube portfolio. It has all the drawings that I've done for YouTube in here. I'm not going to pull it out. Um, old sketchbooks are in here, a pencil case. Um, this is all scrapbook paper. Um, I don't know what this is, so I'm going to stick it here. Um, this is more of the same. Another portfolio has my over the garden wall illustration in it. This is my portfolio from school, from graduation, that has ugh, some of my graduation pieces in it. I don't know how well you'll be able to see these, but I want to pull it all the way out. This is awkward. But yeah, it has uh, prints of my graduation portfolio in there. And yeah, so down one more. Um, this is actually art supplies. This stuff, this is a uh, replacement filters for my uh, respirator. That's all my scrapbooking stuff. And like, I just kind of stuff stuff in here when I want to add it to my scrapbook because I'm super organized and stuff. You know, um, these are my twin touch brush markers. I have, this is a gray set. And then this basket is filled with colors that I have. I haven't found or haven't got a storage place for these yet. And that's all that's back there. Yeah, that's where that goes. Mm -hmm. um, these are my Liquitex, um, what on earth? Uh, <laughs> acrylic paints. Oh, this is for my, my record player. I don't know why it's in there. Whatever. All right, so this drawer that's labeled Deco has Deco stuff in it and will sport sack pouches because they won't fit in my other thing. And like my hot glue gun is in there and just a bunch of stuff for doing Deco. Yeah. There's like glow in the dark paint and stuff in there too. <laughs> um, this has my vitamins in it, so I'm not going to pull that out. This has old planners in it from a couple years ago that I've used up and stuff, so that's what's in there. This is my wallet. Um, drawer. My wallet cabinet. My wallet drawer has old wallets and like pencil pouches and stuff in it. Alright, so this bottom drawer still has stamping stuff in it just like it did last year. Um, so there's just, there's chalk and just like, like clear stamps and there's paints and inks and my extra masking tape is in here. This drawer is actually really hard to close now because there's so much stuff like sitting on top of it. Alright, so the next drawer up, it says old art on it, but it actually does not have old art in it anymore. I took that old art and put it in storage so I could use the drawer. Um, it has, this is like my memory drawer now. It has like old stuff. I have a feeling this is something important. Oh, that's my bachelor's degree. That's kind of important. Let's put that over here. I'm horrible. Um, but anyway, this drawer has just like old stuff from when I was little, like my outdoor school badges in here, the keys to my dad's escalator in here, my old diary, just old stuff like that I don't want to throw away because it's special or has special memories or something. So that's what's in here. And this one has my Prismacolor markers in it that still work, even though I've had them for over 10 years. There's window markers, um, some artist tape, and mostly Prismacolor markers, and there's some gouache and stuff in here. Put everything away. Alright, so moving up, this drawer is hard to open because it's really heavy. This has lots of stationary stuff in it. There's pencil cases, and the box for my iPad Air 2 is in here. There's an A5 planner binder in here, and there's just like notepads, and there's a wallet, and stuff like that. Nothing terribly intriguing. <laughs> this little drawer has my Project Life cards on it that I use in my planner. Um, this whole thing, it's kind of heavy to pull out, um, so I'm not going to. <laughs> my box for my Tamagotchi, this little pink thing in the back has like extra phone cases for my Galaxy in it. And up next drawer is my, this is in the way. Move out of the way. Uh, this is my colored pencil drawer. Sponge! Move out of the way, sponge. There's more sponges. But this has all my colored pencils in it. My Prismacolor colored pencils, my other ones. My Polychromos are at my desk. Because I use those more often. Um, a blank sketchbook. My Prismacolor colored pencils in here. This has my uh, Copic Multiliner re refills in it. Uh, my masking tape. Sponges big sponge that doesn't actually fit in here. Just smush it in there. There we go. 
All right, almost done with this section. I'm not going to show you what's in here because it's just a catch-all and it's a nightmare, so we're going to skip over that. <laughs> this is my painting drawer. Um, it says painting, but it has pan pastels in it. I don't know. I need to relabel these, but this is all pan pastel stuff and like glitter and the sponges that go with pan pastels. So that's all that's in there. These drawers are hard to open. This one just has office supplies like paper clips and my heat gun is in there. This one has mail in it, so I'm not going to show you that. This drawer, if I can get it out, is where all my Kuma Crafts jewelry is now. They used to be hanging on a shelf, but I decided to move them in here because I actually put the shelf in my bathroom. Oh, my perfume is in here. I've been looking for this. Just put that back. But yeah, all my um, necklaces and bracelets and earrings and stuff from Kuma Crafts are in here. Yeah, I've got a lot of this stuff, I know. <laughs> but it's so pretty, look at it. Yeah, so that's it for this section of my room. So I'm going to go on to the rest of the room now. Alright, so now I'm going to quickly go through the bookshelves. Do you guys who watched my room tour for 2014 remember how many dolls I had last year? I had like four. I have like 25 now. <laughs> It's bad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do the books and then I'll do the top. Let's do the bottom of the bookshelves first. I actually moved one of my bookshelves, so now it's next to my bed, and I will show you that when we get over to that part of the room. But I'm just going to quickly show you my books. I have grown out of these bookshelves again, so I have to start getting rid of stuff, which is not my favorite. But, you know, it happens. Boop. And this bookshelf... This is all my art books, and these as well. If you guys want me to do an art book collection video, let me know down in the comments below, because I can do that. I got I got a couple art books, you know. So, <laughs> And up here with behind these ladies, um, all my Percy Jackson books are up there, because I love me some Percy Jackson. All right, so now we are <laughs> um, up at the top. Got my Doctor Who print from Alice. Um, this little set of drawers has... Um, mail and important documents in it, so I'm not going to show you guys inside up there. This little thing has washi tape on it. Um, she's so pretty. She's my newest doll. I got her like last month. That's why her face is not painted. But yeah, I'll just do show the dolls really quick. Some of them are not finished being put together or completely painted at all. So I'm going to move my light box, my soft box, so I can actually get around it. <laughs> Wee! Sorry guys. <laughs> um, here's Miss Margo. And there is Bianca. I'm just trying to think of who you guys have seen in videos that I've done illustrations for. Your hair girl. Do 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 more dolls. There's Lucy. Boop. I tried to position my softbox so that you can actually see what's in this case because it is glass, so it's super reflective. But this is where all my hot toys are kept at now. I'm not gonna open this or go into it or anything because that would take too long. I also have yeah, this is where all these are kept now, so I don't have to worry about, like, damaging them or anything, so they're kept in a safe place. And there's other little things, like, scattered throughout here, too. So, I really like this glass case. I'm really glad that I ended up getting a display case for these. Alright, so on to this part of the room. I forgot to mention that I took all the frames off all of my prints in my room. I forgot to mention that during my uh, workspace tour, but I did end up taking all the frames off, and I have them high hanging by binder clips and I just I really like the way that looks I think it looks more like loose I guess <laughs> like free and happy because the black frames kind of made my room look smaller if that makes any sense so I've got prints I have some necklaces hanging here cookie do 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 prints 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 um this is my record player right here and my teeny tiny little record collection is here oh my god is like my favorite thing in the world and as I talked about in my October favorites oh. yeah so these are my teeny tiny little vinyl collection this is a if you guys follow me on Instagram you saw this already I'm going to be doing a painting for you guys so I did this little quick sketch um, kind of wish I had sketched this a bit larger because I like working 16 by 20 when I paint but what are you gonna do so I guess I will show you this little set of drawers right here now so I'm going to try and like blaze through this super quick because I have a feeling this video is going to be really long, but this entire set of drawers has like scrapbooking stuff in it or like planner stuff. So this is my favorite pencil case. I did my best. Same. But this box has 
page flags in it because I have a problem. Don't look at me. It's fine. Um, this drawer has uh, just binder clips and stamps and all kinds of fun stuff. This one has my stamps, my like clear plastic stamps that are in the binder in there. And extra notebooks for my Midori. This one has more of the same notepads and pencil cases. This one's great. I should use this. Plans for world domination. Heck yeah. And then this. Uh, this has scrapbook paper and like little bits and pieces for doing like... I use this stuff to decorate my Midori. Like my little notebooks that are in my Midori. So that's what's in here. This little stand, the white stand as well as those over there, all came from Michael's. They're the recollection storage solution, whatever they're called. All right, so in between my nightstand and this white thing, um, this is my um, like lap desk. I got this from Pottery Barn, but it's super cool. It has like a drawer that opens so you can put stuff in it and stuff. My purse is right here. Um, it's pink. Look at it. It's pink. Whatever. <laughs> So on to my night table. I'm not going to really go into this too much either. Um, down here, it has stuff like my cables for my computer and stuff in here, vitamins, stuff like that. Nothing terribly interesting. Slippers. Yes. Um, down here is my journal and my Q&A of the day book. I am on year four of my Q&A of the day book. I will finish it. I am determined. Um, this is my uh, MacBook Pro, my dream diary. I have three iPods. Don't ask me why. Um, this is the one I'm using. This is the one for my car and this one I got for a present. <laughs> so, And my uh, Kindle is back there somewhere. Um, up here, this thing has my um, like remote controls for my TV and like my Blu-ray player and stuff. Um, some of my favorite books are back here. Actually, most of these are by Diana Wynne Jones, who is one of my favorite authors, and Kenneth Opel, who is another one of my favorite authors. Um, uh, this is my 3DS XL. I had the Legend of Zelda one last year. I still have it, but I got this as a present, so I'm using the pink one. Um, this is my iPad Air 2. I have the gold one, and has a keyboard hooked to it that matches. So, I like the gold. It's pretty. And then up top, I have my lamp. Did I have the TARDIS lamp last year? I don't remember. I didn't go and look at the old video, but I broke the TARDIS lamp on accident, so now I have a new one. I was sad because I really liked the TARDIS lamp. Um, the books I'm currently reading, my watch, um, face stuff for when I go to bed, Lush stuff that I want to use soon, um, my favorite lotion, my clock, little calendar, pookie pookie, my Baymax light. This is like a sleeping lamp. It's not plugged in right now because I needed the plug for something else, but it's a sleeping lamp and it lights up and it's cute. This is my um, Bose SoundLink Mini that is hooked to my record player so that I can listen to my records. Um, up here we've got some artwork. Alpaca! <laughs> and then my Pulips. And my Disneyland Princess Dolls. And my A-Zones. I'm 28, I promise you. Okay, so here is my bed. I have new bedding since I think I had different bedding last year. But yeah, um, my Midori is here because I am actually moving out of the turquoise leather and moving into this pink one. Look at this, it's so cute. Be still my beating heart, it's so cute. Um, anyway, as I said over on the other side of the room, there is a bookshelf here now, but I'll pull all the pillows and stuff off there and show it to you right now. So I moved the pillows out of the way so you guys could get a better view of this area. Um, as I said, there's just some books and like little knick-knacky things. My Anastasia music box is down there too. Ooh, now we're back. <laughs> okay, up top, got more dolls, a Disneyland print. Um, my Harry Potter Illustrated Edition is there. Uh, this is my Volks Alice that I actually won from their Christmas giveaway last year. She's so pretty. In my window, we got a new win. We got new windows in our house last November, so that's different. And my curtains are different, or my blinds. My curtains are also different, but these ones open from the top and up the bottom because I am across from people who like to look into my window because they're like right level with my window, so I can't open my curtains, which sucks. So now I can open the top and actually get sunlight in my room, which is awesome. 
Okie dokie. So over here is a pile of crap. <laughs> no, uh, my uh, plain air easel is here. Um, this thing is like destroyed. I might do like a painting supplies video since I have painted for a long time. Like look how dirty this is and it's like broken and falling apart and stuff. But it's my favorite. My lamp. These are my tassels from graduation because I graduated with honors. So they got they gave us tassels. Lamp. Um, this box has art supplies in it because I went and bought a bunch of stuff and I'm going to do a haul for you guys soon. I just have one more thing from the same order that I'm waiting to get in the mail and then I will do an art supplies haul because I've never done one so I'm kind of excited to do that. So moving this, maybe, <laughs> kind of heavy. All this paper right here is for my 60,000 giveaway for you guys. I've been saving it up. <laughs> Um, to give it away to you guys because I missed my 50,000 because I was too busy. So I'm going to do like a 50 and 60,000 subscriber giveaway very soon. These two purple boxes are from Erin Condren. They have my doll wigs in them. And this is my silhouette cameo that I bought that I haven't opened yet. Ah, alpacas. And there's alpacas. <gasps> All right, so we're almost done. <laughs> um, this is my movie shelf. Same place as it was last year. Pretty much everything's the same as it was last year, except for, like, the bookshelf got moved. Um, movies. I'm running out of space for movies, which is depressing. So, um, yeah, that's all that's there. And this is my slightly small stack of Christmas presents, because it's almost Christmas, so I'm buying presents for my family. Um, back here in the corner is where I keep, like, my filming stuff. Um... That's where my softbox usually is, but this is the bag for my softbox. My tripod is back here. My camera is in this black bag right here. And there's painting supplies and other stuff down there, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I'm not about that. More prints. We're back at the desk already. Um, this is my TV. It has a cover over it, which is super cute because I like cute stuff in case you can't tell. Um, yeah, my PlayStation, my headphones, my PS4, TV, box, PS2 that I don't really play with anymore, my extremely dusty, holy moly, um, <laughs> Apple TV, god, um, my Blu-ray player and my PS3, my Wii, little sticker maker, there's just random stuff here, this is the case for my Bose headphones that are plugged into my PlayStation controller, because this is what I use these for, games. And we're about done. So over here, I think I showed this in my workspace tour, but I'll show it here again. Uh, my three alt lights that I use for filming, that one's broken. The pink one is still broken. And I just, I can't quit it. I just can't. Um, and my trash can. And that's about it. Whee! All right, so that is it for my 2015 room tour. As usual, if you want to know where I got something, you can leave me a comment down below. And I will start, like, a running list of things that I've been asked. I usually do that for about two weeks and then I kind of peter off doing that, but you can check the video description if you want to know where I got something. With the exception of the dolls, because I always get asked where they came from, but they've come from so many different companies that I really can't say, oh, this specific one came from this company unless you can describe what the doll looks like to me. I can probably tell you, but uh, yeah, that's kind of a bit difficult to do, <laughs> so yeah. Um, if you guys want me to do an art book collection video, I can totally do that for you guys. If there's anything else you would like to see in the future from me, please let me know in the comments down below. And I think that's everything, so please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you shortly for the next video.